what's going on. But so um, with the abs and everything, today I'm doing abs. Stretch to where you actually like come. Yeah, hopefully y'all saw. All right, you guys, this is Papa Ninja Girl Queen, and I'm back with another video. I'm about to hit the gym right now, but I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know how to grow your glutes and get in shape for 2024 and basically for beginners. So basically what you want to do is have a high protein diet. High protein diet is very important. So like eating salmon, um, oatmeal. I don't put any sugar, anything in my oatmeal. What I add is uh, bananas, fruits, peanut butter, and just the oatmeal. Oatmeal is really what's going to target that big tag. Okay, and eggs, stuff like that. I know some of us can't really eat dairy like that because of our skin, but I do try to implement eggs and stuff like that here and there, but I don't eat it too much. Milk and stuff like that, I try not to eat it too much, but I do love protein shakes. Protein shakes are going to be your best friend. So protein pancakes, protein oatmeal, protein, just protein, 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 high in protein, but you also want to make sure that you're getting other things in like your green vegetables, your fruits and stuff like that. So every meal I try to incorporate you know, like the fruits, the vegetables and stuff like that. And my eggs, I do tomatoes and spinach. Yeah, just stuff like that. It's just different things that you have to do. And also when you're working out, you want to target your target your glutes. I am going to make a video, video showing exactly like where you want to target the kind of workouts that you want to do. I don't know if I'm gonna add it to this video because I do need to get this content up, but I will make sure you guys just stay in tune with me Stay tuned and watch me and I will do the workouts that have, that have helped me get to where I am today with my glutes. So just high protein, I don't eat after seven. So if you, basically if you wanna have like that slim waist, slim waist look with the, you know, big old booty, um, what you need to do is make sure you're not eating after seven o'clock. You're implementing fruits and vegetables. You're eating in a good portion. So really we're supposed to eat seven, seven times a day, you guys. So it's breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. Sometimes the, the last snack doesn't really matter, but if you're still hungry after your dinner, the last snack is really like kind of important, kind of not. So really it's, Y'all, it's really hard getting in that those meals. I'm not gonna lie. It may seem like right now, oh, I can do that. But when you're actually getting into the groove of things, it's like kind of hard getting those meals in, especially like when you have, when you gotta go to work, when you got school, when you got kids and all that stuff, it's kind of hard to implement that. That's when meal preps come into play. Now, I'm kind of wishy-washy on meal preps because after a while, I really I start, start getting really bored with food and I just start feeling like it's not as fresh. So, I mean, I love them because they makes you not go out and get stuff that you're not supposed to eat. And also it's very convenient. So, you know, but I just make my, at this point, I've just been making myself eat what I'm supposed to eat. And that's just what it is. That's all you can do. And what I can say, just for a little bit of motivation, sometimes you'll be like, you're not seeing a difference in your body, but if you just keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing through, dang, I'm not seeing nothing, or dang, the scale's not moving, or I'm not seeing you know, the results that I wanna see yet. Uh, if you just keep pushing, it's going to come. It's gonna come along. Just keep eating right, keep pushing, keep waking up to go to the gym, keep doing those things and you're going to see results. You have no choice but to see results. When you put in work with something, when you're consistent with something, you have no choice but to see results. So just keep that in mind and stay positive on your journey. Be very kind to yourself um, because sometimes it really does, it takes time. Good things don't come just thrown at you, you know? You gotta work for it. Um, 
So yeah, so the meal preps, just to keep yourself on track so you don't go out and buy food that you shouldn't buy. Eating six times a day, like I said, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. Those things are really going to help you grow your glutes. You know how the girls, when the girls get the BBLs, how they have to eat and feed the fat? You're basically doing the same things and you have to eat basically like the same things. I would say like my biggest meals that have helped me are chicken breasts. So if you want to do like chicken breast, saute spinach, brown rice, or if you want to do uh, salmon, white rice, corn, broccoli, you know, just stuff like that that will actually target your roots and then making sure that you get your oatmeal in. So turkey bacon in the morning, turkey bacon, oatmeal, and eggs, you know, just stuff like that. <sighs> um, you can make it. Make it, just spice it up so that you won't get bored with it or that you'll start slacking off. But I think this is gonna be it. I am gonna get to working out, but today I'm not doing legs or glutes. So that's the only reason why I'm like, I don't know if I should just go ahead and put this up or if I should wait until I go and actually do glute and legs but I definitely want to get this up. So I think that's what I'm just going to do. So you guys just stay tuned and just watch my videos. And, and I promise I will get a good workout for you guys to show you guys what, what has helped me this far. And I will show y'all like a little reveal of my body. If y'all have been keeping up with me, then y'all have already seen, you know, what's going on but yeah y'all so with the abs and everything today i'm doing abs waist back and arms so basically just you know upper body and yeah y'all i gotta go because i'm trying to get my a good workout in before i have to get to work but i love y'all hopefully y'all like videos like this if y'all have any questions just let me down, know down in the comments below I'm trying to see if there's anything that I'm missing. Um, six times a day, you guys. The basic foods that I just, if you just want to start out with something basic, cause you don't really know, you know what to eat and you have too many ideas. You've been watching too many videos. The basic of the basic of what to eat in the morning. Oatmeal with peanut butter and fruit if you wanna add fruit. If not, um, oatmeal, peanut butter, and banana. I love that. It makes me eat it because I'm not adding any sugar or anything like that. I love bananas. So you gotta make it work for you. So in my eggs, I put spinach and tomatoes uh, and then turkey bacon. And then for your snack, you can do Greek yogurt. That's another thing. Greek yogurt, you guys, is gonna be your best friend. Greek yogurt, add some oats. Add some oats to your Greek yogurt and then on top, put some fruit that's also gonna be your best friend. So that's your snack, okay? And then lunch, you can do chicken breast, white or brown rice, broccoli or corn. Snack, another snack, some, some nuts, some dried fruit, you know, nuts and dried fruit. And then for your dinner, you can do salmon in a salad, steak in a salad, you know, like just stuff like that, you know? And then for your last snack, you can do like fruit and fruit and peanut butter or something like that. You know, just make it fun. Make it to where you would want to eat it or banana and peanut butter or a slice of wheat bread, banana. Well, a slice of wheat bread, peanut butter and banana. You know, just spice it up, make it your, I need to get to stretching. So stretching as well, stretching is gonna be um, your most important thing. So y'all remember your workout is just, I think it's like 35% and your diet is the rest of that. So remember diet, your diet is very, 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 it's so important you guys. So working out and dieting is gonna go head in hand and make the results that you want. So when you stretch, you wanna make sure that you're stretching good. I can show y'all like a couple of stretches that I do. So starting off, you know, if I'm doing legs, which I stretch my whole body, but I'm gonna go ahead and stretch with y'all just so that y'all can see how I 
get my body going. You want to always stretch before you start any workout. You want to make sure you stretch, y'all. And I don't have these lights on yet because I don't want anybody thinking that I'm open and they can come in. So forgive me for the lighting, but y'all get the gist. So I did that. Now I'm just going to come down. Hopefully y'all can see me from up there. But I'm just reaching down with my toes, stretching real good, real, real good. Don't stress too much because you don't want to pull nothing, but just stress to where you actually like kind of feel something. And then, yeah, hopefully I'll stop you, but. And then I do those, and then I'm gonna close my legs and go down. And then a really, really good stretch is gonna be the next stretch that I do, especially for the uh, squats with the weights. Y'all, I just had knee surgery, so I'm not going down as much as I should. But this is really going to help um, with your mobility um, when you're doing your squats. So the more that you do this, the more you'll be able to, um, the lower you'll be able to do your squats. Because it's all in the hips, really. Let me go get this workout in because I literally don't have that much time at all now. But I love y'all. Y'all hit that like button. Um, stay tuned for my actual workout video. And until next time, for my new babies, what's up, y'all? Y'all make sure y'all subscribe because why not? And for my original babies, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for y'all continual support. And I will see y'all later. Mm -hmm.